What's going on, Jerome? So the Minnesota Fine Vikings have been looking to add a certain offensive lineman, and we were hoping that it was going to be Dalton Reisner, the best free agent guard out there on the market, uh, but he left town uh, after his visit on Tuesday, and no deal was done weighing his options. Now, that doesn't slam the door, hmm. uh, but it, it's sort of like like your kids, uh, you're riding home with your parents, and it's like, we want McDonald's. Like, hey, can we stop for Dalton Reisner's? And your parents are just like, we have Dalton Reisner's at home. Uh, so the Vikings have signed uh, journeyman uh, offensive tackle Christian Deloro. And here's the timeline. So uh, former Denver Bronco lineman, we finally got one. That's right. So Mike Kliss, the Kliss commander, Broncos beat writer. Broncos have cut offensive tackle Christian DeLauro. Uh, this is back on Monday. He got a good look when Bowles and McGlinchey were out one day. Uh, DeLauro played in three games for Broncos late last season. And uh, we'll, we'll get into uh, his action, but it, it is interesting to note that he did play left and right tackle for the Broncos, did fill in with the ones. Uh, so that's something that you can raise an eyebrow with. Uh, Aaron Wilson, go. Uh, former Broncos offensive tackle Christian DeLauro signed with the Vikings following a successful workout per a league source. And then the Vikings, uh, to make room on on the 90 man or 91 man with Junior Ajo, uh, the Vikings have waived non football illness tackle uh, Sam Schluter, a former Golden Goal for now. I'm not sure uh, if it's if uh, NFI non football illness is the same as uh, injured waived, and if he goes unclaimed, he reverts to the Vikings IR or NFI list. Don't, don't know, but uh, either way. Uh, Christian DeLauro uh, is a Minnesota Viking, so let's talk about him today. Uh, background, he's six foot five, 300 pounds, uh, former uh, University of Illinois stud, uh, starred for three and a half years for the Illini, uh, and then declared uh, in 2018. And overall, he tested well, like 8.74 on the RAS, uh, 505, a 40-yard dash, good in the jumps, good in the agilities as well. Uh, did go undrafted, a li little bit undersized, a little bit underweight for a tackle, uh, but he's bounced around the league. First with Cleveland, two years with the Niners, uh, then the Texans, Steelers, Tennessee Titans, the Washington Commanders, uh, Broncos last year. Now, no crossover with uh, Chris Cooper, offensive line coach, and Justin Riscotti, assistant, because, of course... They came over here last year. Uh, he has played 15 career snaps over four career games, all of them on special teams field goal unit, uh, zero on offense. Uh, but it, it is important to note. So right away, uh, the Browns picked him up in camp as a UDFA. Uh, eventually, he was on the, the Niners practice squad 2018, as well as in camp with them 2019. During that time, uh, Kwesi Domfamensa was in San Francisco working at and the R&D department. So crossover there. Hmm. And then this is from uh, Lance Erlein, NFL.com. Draft protection, priority free agent. Overview, long-legged swing tackle candidate with good foot quickness and athletic ability, but a poor anchor that may prevent him from handling an NFL bull rush. But other than that, we're good. Uh, Delaro has experienced both tackle spots and handled a start at guard uh, this season, uh, so he offers roster flexibility, but unless he gets much stronger, making a rooster will be a challenge. He could become a candidate for time on a practice squad while he hits the weights. And the Vikings offensive line depth right now uh, looks like this. And it sort of makes sense uh, bringing in tackle depth uh, with Vidarian Lowe injured. Brian O'Neill is working his way back. Uh, but I don't know, like – I understand people are disappointed because people say like, well, oh, they missed out on uh, uh, Dalton Reisner, so Firequace and all that stuff. I, I don't think that the addition of DeLauro necessarily disqualifies him from signing uh, Dalton Reisner because DeLauro, at best, is going to be a practice squad backup swing tackle, and Dalton Reisner would be competing for one of the starting guard spots. So th this isn't um, – uh, these things are mutually exclusive. I don't think they're tied to one another. But also, it, it would be so funny. If the Vikings' entire meeting uh, with uh, Reisner on Tuesday was, hey, tell us about Christian DeLauro. And then they got the notes. It's funny, man. But uh, e either way, um, you know, uh, another camp body, a guy who you know reportedly looked pretty good in Broncos camp at times, but they still let him go. Uh, but e either way, uh, again, it, was it the former Broncos offensive lineman that everyone was looking for? <sighs> Probably not, but don't hold that against Christian DeLauro. Uh, I'm sure his family is pumped uh, and rooting for the kid and, and all that good stuff, but also signed Dalton Reister. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it, Quasey. Come on, man. Uh, if your thoughts are thoughts, uh, Vikings sign a former Denver Broncos offensive lineman Christian DeLauro, uh, and then they waived uh, Sam Schluter uh, with a non-football illness. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.